Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time it may be, wherever you're located, thank you so much for joining G Harper Ministries. We will continue on our series titled Gridlock. And today's title is The Gridlock of Pride. We have to deal with pride because pride could keep you from moving forward. Or pride could make you stumble down and come on a level playing field where God wants everyone. At times, pride keeps us from moving forward because God doesn't like a prideful heart. He doesn't like a person with very egotistical. You have to be, in other words, a humble person. But many of us, we deal with pride. Case in point, First Chronicles 21, when you get a chance, I want you to read it. It is in a life of David, King David. You know David, the shepherd boy, the shepherd boy who was after God's own heart. Yes, that David. Let me just give you a quick glimpse of this story. David, he was sitting on his kingdom. It was going well. The numbers had increased the nation of Israel, and David wanted to take a census. In the biblical antiquity, the Bible days, that is, it was not, uh, it was frowned upon people to take census. But David wanted to know how many people are sitting up under my throne. How many men, women, children, soldiers are up under my leadership? So he sent out his servants to take a census. And one of his servants, Joab, said, I don't know if we should do this because God gives the increases. Why do you want uh, the hand of judgment to come down upon the nation of Israel because of your decision? But David ignored his way of escape and he insisted on Joab and the other servants to take the census. Can I tell you what happened? They came back with the number. It was over a million some odd people in the nation of Israel up under his leadership. But once word got back to David that God was displeased with his action, it was there that David asked God for forgiveness. But now nah, God said, David, you still got to deal with your consequences. Can I tell you what happened? David chose one of the options that God gave to him. Three days of destruction. The sword came against the nation of Israel. 70,000 people were killed because of David's decision. How many people in your life are affected by the decisions that you make? 70,000 people's lives were lost because David was prideful, arrogant, and cocky to try to find out how many people was up under him. My brothers and sisters, listen. Do not fall victim to pride. Pride comes with the price. There's one preacher that says it this way. Pain will teach you what pride won't let you learn. You have to go through a season of purging when pride is in your life. So here it is. In order for you to move forward to your divine purpose in life, remove the area of pride. Pride will not get you anywhere. Arrogance will not get you anywhere. God, he will raise up a person that is humble. He will raise up a person that is able to be used. He will raise up a person that is able to listen to others, but most of all, listen to him. Do not get to a place to where you're so arrogant and prideful that no one can say anything to you, especially God. So I leave you with this challenge. Write down any issue that you know that you're struggling with. Write down the issues right now that you know you need God to direct. And I pray that God will speak to you and show you the areas to where you need to let go and let God direct. I will be praying for you. I will be hoping and asking that God show you the prideful areas in your life. Until we meet again, be blessed, be encouraged, and let go of that pride. Take care.